you just double dip that chip? <laughs> you double dip the chip. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Double Dipping and Sipping. Uh, we got a series this week from Safeway. It's our signature select series, right? Yep. Right. Is that we're gonna call it? Yeah. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. We had that's a what, great. That's what great... it says on the bag. <laughs> signature select. Hence the name. We had a great start with the last uh, the last video. We had Signature Select All Dressed. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping this one is equally as good. Mm -hmm. This is Baby Back Ribs. Mm -hmm. How can you go one wrong with favorites. that? Yeah. I mean, that's one of your favorite pictures. <clears throat> uh, I am a Baby Back Rib smoking connoisseur. Kind of snob. Yeah. I make a mean baby back rib. Kind of baby back, baby, 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 baby back, back ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a song that goes like that? Uh, I don't know. I'll okay. find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where were we? Super excited about the beer. Uh, the beer is Ferndale Project Peanut Butter Volcano. Ooh. It's an imperial stout with it's brewed with peanut butter, cocoa, uh, graham crackers, inspired by the brewery's favorite cookie from Detroit Cookie Company. Yeah. Now, why did I pair this with yeah, Baby Back Ribs? Why did you? You know, when we've gone to the South for dessert, at most places they either have banana pudding with their Baby Back Ribs and all the barbecue there, mm -hmm. or they'll have peanut butter pie. Oh. So I thought peanut butter pie, this sounds a lot like peanut butter pie. I think it would pair much like a like Dinner and dessert. and dessert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At least that's my hope. <laughs> All right. I'm All okay right. with that. Okay. Yeah. Ferndale Project out of Ferndale, Michigan was another brewery that opened their doors right before the pandemic hit in February of 2020. Mm. It is the experimental arm of Eastern Market Brewing Company based in Detroit, Michigan, which has been around since 2017. Founded by friends Dane Barsh, Devin Drowley, and Paul Hoskin, along with two other friends, Brad and Dave, and they all attended Northwestern for their undergraduate degrees. Uh, they came up with the idea after Dane had bought a farm in Ann Arbor, Michigan, <laughs> and was wondering what to do with the barn in the back, and it was suggested they start home brewing. And then enter a trip to the Eastern Market District of Michigan and the discovery of an old building for sale. When the sale of it to an interested party wanting to open a wine shop fell through. They ended up buying it. It was a good investment opportunity and fit the needs of them as a brewery. And they also discovered that there weren't a whole lot of craft brewers in the Detroit area. So they filled a void there as well. Oh, that's a really cool story. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have done that with our barn. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah. Barn brews. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good name. That is good. Okay. Don't steal it. We're going to yeah, use it. Right. <laughs> Barn brews. <laughs> anyway, kind of a cool story. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a nice kind of a, uh, the Eastern market is, uh, it's a whole area with markets and uh, um, different venues, different events there. It's kind of a, a huge place. So. Detroit's never a place we've talked about going, because I think Detroit gets a bad name, but mm -hmm. that would probably be a good place to put on our list of things yeah. to drive through. Mm, they smell good too. And these are those ruffle kind of chips again, where they have the ridges. And they're super like silky. Ooh, is that a good word? Silky is good. Oh my gosh, look how dark that is. It's like really thick. It's uh, oil can, oil can thick. Mmm. Smell good. <laughs> smells like a Reese's peanut butter right. cup. I'm excited to try that, but we have to try the chips first. Okay. Whoa. Boom. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It hits you. Right away. Like ribs. you took your like you took your first bite of the baby. As soon as you put your tongue on it, it smells like ribs. Mm. Mmm. That's fantastic. They're good. Mm-hmm. They're really good. Now what style of baby back ribs would you say? Is it Kansas City, St. Louis? What kind of flavor profile? Not a whole lot of mustard in there. That's not really my um, forte. <laughs> it's a it's on You're going to have to comment on those. It's they're on the a little sweets. sweet. So what, I would say where's, Kansas City, probably. Kansas Sweet. Mm -hmm. mm, they're good. Let's see what it says on the back. Mm. Uh, not so much. Mm. They're short and sweet. They're like, the, they're like the generic version of everything. 
Okay. Like they don't put a whole lot of stuff on the back of the bag, no description. Oh, I see what you're saying. Which just, is, the bag is the generic. This is what you're getting, baby back ribs. Go home and eat them. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Look at that, okay. They're fantastic. Mmm. Right? It smells like a cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's so, so strong. It is a strong on the alcohol side of it. Oh, yeah. But peanut butter. I, like, You know what I taste more of? It's graham cracker. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I, don't, I taste the peanut butter, but it's very subtle. What really hits me first is the graham cracker. I do taste the graham cracker. Yeah. Um, I do. Th I think that's... Uh, and that's what I smell, too, is like cookie, like graham, oh, graham yeah, cracker you're right. cookie. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the pie crust. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. all the butter and the, and the graham crackers all ground up. Yeah, Put totally. It, mm hmm the peanut butter is, I thought it was really going to be like peanut butter for it, and it's not. Mm, I think it is, but everybody's palate is different. Yeah. But it is, it's, uh, it's got all, it's got all of the notes in there though, for sure. <laughs> and this goes really good together. It really does. Yeah. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I did. You did good. <laughs> did it right. I know we were sort of debating like, because we have another one that has some banana in it. That you have to stick around and watch. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to decide: should we do banana with the ribs, or should we do peanut butter with the ribs? What, it's a what banana would you bread. Have? It's a banana bread beer versus a peanut butter beer. Mm -hmm. What would you pick? Leave a leave a comment below. We'd mm -hmm. love to hear from you. Yeah. But the chips are amazing. The chips are spot on. Don't uh, don't pass these by at uh, Safeway. Okay, were they up or down in the row? Like uh, they're kind of they right. Were, they're kind of right eye level. They were. Yeah. Because sometimes I don't think they hide I don't think they hide their own brand at Safeway. I think they do. I but, think they kinda of put the stuff on the bottom shelf and then you're like you don't really see it. Hmm. Possibly. Maybe that's just King Supers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but uh very, very good. Very good beer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's a good second so, start. Where do we get this beer? Was that a Tabor? Please hold. Sorry, I caught him with his mouth full. This is a Tavor beer. Uh, check out Tavor. Great website. They got all kinds of great beers from all across the country. Hashtag Tavor. Hashtag <laughs> Tavor. Uh, they support independent craft breweries solely. Mm -hmm. So uh, give them a little love. I think they're a little busy in the Christmas season because it's taking us a little long to get our order. But mm -hmm. um, they're... I'm sure it's because everybody else is super busy with holidays. It's uh, it's awesome though. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, if you use the code, you get ten dollars towards your first order when you order. We get ten dollars towards our next order. Make it a win-win. Mm -hmm. We can present, show you all the cool beers across the country. Pair them with the favorite chips. I think we're going to be having chips and beer for dinner. I can't wait. All That's right. going to be good. So we have one more in this series. Another one from Select Signature Select. Stick around. So, like our video, share it with your friends, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. That would help us out a lot. We'd appreciate it. And uh, go check us out on uh, Instagram too. Oh yeah, start. We'd love to get up to two hundred. Yeah, we'd love to get up to two hundred uh, followers on Instagram. So exciting! We're at like what one twenty. We're close up to one fifty now. What? Yeah, just like that. You didn't tell me. Yeah. Well, like just yesterday you told me it was 120. I don't tell her everything. <laughs> well, how exciting. Now we're at 150. Mm -hmm. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but to us, that's a lot. Yeah. It's a validation that... Uh, I hope this... you're enjoying our video. So thank you so much and please share. Awesome. And until next time, no, no double dipping. From now on, when you take a chip, just take one dip and end it.